Hey guys, Vizello here. So, recently I've been noticing, actually quite a lot of people have been talking about the next Xbox. I'm not talking about, like, the Xbox One X or the Xbox One S. I'm talking about, like, the next full leap of a generation for Xbox. So, in this video, I want to just provide my opinions on what I want to see out of next Microsoft's next console. Now, you have to keep in mind that these are my opinions, and if you have your own opinions, then you should leave them in the comments. And also, I have a cold, so my voice sounds really terrible, and I I fully acknowledge that. I'm going to try and get this fixed in the next video, but for now, I just kind of have to deal with it. So, yeah, but still, let's just get into this. So, the biggest thing I want to see out of the next Xbox is just more games, to be honest. Like, I know Microsoft has recently been really pushing hardware, and I know that they keep saying, hey, we're going to make more exclusives, but the Xbox One has just been almost like a train wreck of a lack of exclusives like it's incredible how much how little exclusives have come out for xbox when you compare it to the ps4 and even the nintendo switch so n n microsoft really needs to step up their game uh, the xbox team i know that phil spencer everyone they keep talking about how we're gonna have more exclusives but still like you need to get more exclusives out you don't you shouldn't just keep talking about it just get them out like, Scalebound, if you don't know, Scalebound was an Xbox One exclusive that was supposed to come out, then it was cancelled. Like, Microsoft, you should salvage that, then turn that into some sort of game, because you need exclusives more than ever right now. I know everyone keeps talking about it, but seriously, you, we just can't be talking about it. We actually have to get work done here, so that's the biggest, my biggest, that's what I want out of the most, out of the next Xbox. So let's talk hardware. So the next Xbox I'm thinking is probably going to have similar hardware to whatever the next PlayStation is going to have. That's sort of been the theme where PlayStation and Microsoft have had very similar hardware. In fact, I think that in the last few generations, Sony has been doing better than Microsoft in hardware, at least on day one release. Not talking about the Xbox One X or the Xbox One S. But what I want to see mostly is just hardware that can compete with sony but can also offer be offered at a reasonable price now i know that the xbox one x is a good console and you can't build a pc that's as equally powerful for 500 bucks but still i feel like microsoft should have i know that they're this is probably asking too much but i feel like they should have taken a loss on it and that's not like an incredibly crazy thing to ask of Microsoft and Sony were both losing money on the Xbox 360 and PS3, so obviously this is not the first time that both of these companies have done it, but on Microsoft's side, they recently have not been doing that. So it, I, what I would like to see is that if the next Xbox is going to cost around 500 bucks, I think Microsoft should probably take a loss on it to try and attract more people back to the Xbox brand, just like what they did with the Xbox 360, because that's... In my opinion, the way that the Xbox 360 really just dominated the entire 8th and 7th generation, I know that the PS3 ended up outselling it, but in total, the reason why I think um, the Xbox 360 did so well was because at launch, the console was way, way cheaper than the PS3. Of course, Microsoft got a bit lucky because Sony was kind of in a bit of a weird stage at that point, but the, because Microsoft also took a loss on it, you could get, like, an Xbox 360 for way, way cheaper than, like, a base PS3, which I think cost 600 US dollars when it came out. And the 360, I think, was 300, 400, around there. So, it was really, really inexpensive compared to the PS4. And I'd like to see that again. Of course, Microsoft might not do that, but still, that's what I like. That's what I would like to see. Now, the next thing I want to see about the next Xbox is actually, let's just talk about the release date for this. And... I want to see Microsoft and the Xbox team release this next console around 2020, 2019. 2019 would be the very, like, the earliest point to release it, but 2020 seems the most realistic to me, and the reason for that is because that would give the Xbox One at least, th or the Xbox One X, I mean to say, three years of headroom, and the Xbox One S, four years. Now, normally... Um, consoles get like a solid four years before they get another console release but I think that Microsoft's gonna probably shoot for 2020 because 
that's when the PS4 Pro will reach that four-year mark. And that's probably when Sony will release the PS4 or PS5, whatever they're going to call it. And, you know, I just think that's the most realistic time for Microsoft to release the next Xbox, in my opinion. Now, the last thing I want to see out of the next Xbox is actually, well, obviously I can't predict the future of what Microsoft's going to do, but to be honest, the thing that I would like to see, well, one of the, the biggest things I want to see is actually the removal of Xbox Live. Now, what I mean by that is that I I used to have an Xbox Live subscription, but the reason why I stopped getting it was because you had to pay for it. And I know a lot of people are just going to be like, oh, well, that's to be expected. And yeah, that's sort of just like a, a trend that's been going off consoles. But the thing is, is that what Microsoft, Sony, they need to realize, and even Nintendo's doing it too, uh, even though Nintendo's version is cheaper, it's supposed to be cheaper, you're still paying for online. And the thing that I feel like everyone needs to realize is that on PC, most of the time, gaming online is free. Of course, you have to pay your internet bill, but it's you don't have to pay to access their servers. And a lot of the times, the experience is superior to Xbox Live, PSN, whatever, Nintendo's, well, with Wii U, that version was free, and online was alright over there. But... It's probably actually going to be similar to the Nintendo Switch version. So, it doesn't really make sense if you're a PC gamer and a Nintendo Switch gamer, an Xbox One gamer, a PS4 gamer. If you don't care about the exclusives and all that, it doesn't really make sense for you to just be focusing on those consoles. Now, that's just a very brief explanation of it. I could go into way more detail and it could be a full video. But the thing I would like to see the most, or well, one of the things I want to see the most out of, is the removal of that subscription of Xbox Live. And I feel like that would give Microsoft a big step in the game because now Nintendo and Sony, because of what Microsoft started with paying for online, they're now actually doing um, online pay. I think this could be a way for Microsoft to like pretty much stab them in the back. Well, obviously stab them in the, ba the back without you know having legal fire over it. But what I mean is that, like, Microsoft started the trend of Xbox Live and paying for a subscription. And now both Sony and Nintendo are on that bandwagon. So, what I would like to see Microsoft do is to literally just stop paying for that once a Nintendo service comes out. And then all of a sudden, Xbox, w the Xbox in general, would seem way more appealing to pick up. And I feel like that could help Microsoft in the long run. And plus, it would benefit everyone who picks up the next Xbox because if you want to game online you don't have to pay for it and that would be a great way to be one step ahead of the competition but I'm I don't think that's going to happen you know companies want money but still like that's just what I would like to see but if you have your own opinions I would love to hear them in the comments so if you did enjoy this video then I would appreciate it if you shared this video on social media but it's always up to you and again, I hope you did enjoy this video, and please leave your thoughts on this video in the comments, and see you.